Welcome back to another episode, another series for Food for Thought. This series, this episode that we're filming right now is really going to hone in on patience. Yeah, that's right, patience. Let's get the intro going and we'll get started. All right, we're back from the intro. Like I said, this video is mainly focusing on patience. And I only wanna bring this up to really stimulate your mind and stimulate your brain to show you how you could get wrapped up into a routine that's really not meant for you in your life, but because you feel as though there's no way of you learning other things, you're just gonna accept it for what it is. Now hear me out. Many of us have gotten a job or have gotten lessons from someone to do certain, something or certain things in life. But most of the times, whenever we start off doing something, such as the new job that we've acquired, we don't know what we're typically doing and how things are typically functioning. Let me give you a great example. When I first started working, I worked at a McDonald's. At the age of 16, I was working at a McDonald's. I didn't have any idea on what to do. I didn't know how to drop the fries, how to make a Big Mac. I didn't know how to count the change because the register was the one doing all the counting. Let me stop playing. I knew how to count the change. But it's just me trying to emphasize that there were certain things I didn't know how to do. Now, on my first day, I felt as though I was messing up. I didn't understand what was going on. I was scheduled for the second day. I showed up. I did the same thing over again. Showed up for the third day, same thing over again, if not a little bit more. Showed up for the next week, same thing, learned a little bit more. Next month, same thing, learned a little bit more. Next three months, same thing, learned a little bit more. See, what I'm trying to get to is that I was doing things on a repetition. Every single time I was scheduled, if I was scheduled Monday through Friday, I bet your bottom dollar I was there. Five days a week, eight hours, 40 hours on my craft of working at McDonald's. I only bring this up because there's many of us who thinks that, yeah, I want to obtain something in life. I want to get somewhere in life. But the first sign of us working at it for the first, let me just give you the benefit of the doubt, first month of things, you want to end up throwing in the towel and saying, man, it's not working. I'll give up. You didn't even put in a full 40 hours on your craft yet. And you're giving up so easily. But yet that job that's paying you temporarily right now, only the reason, the reason why I say temporarily is due to the fact that at any point in time you could be let go. The job that is paying you temporarily right now, you'd rather go in there, put all your energy in that, but not leave any energy or any gas for your craft and for your vision and for your dream that will oftentimes be something that you have a little bit more control over about if you don't want to work no more, if you don't want to make any more money, stop working. If you don't want to bring in more revenue, stop working. If you want to bring in more revenue, work a little bit harder. You know what I mean? Compared to the job that you're at, where you might just be getting paid hourly, but there's a certain threshold before your employer caps you off and tell you, yeah, man, you're not getting this all the time. I want you to understand that it's a food for thought. So I want you to understand that the same energy that you have putting into your job is the same energy that you need to have putting into your craft. And yet you're probably seeing this video like, man, you're only making these videos a couple seconds, couple minutes, but no, I'm actually, if I want to show you this, doing research on how to make edits and how to get my craft a little bit better and studying what I need to do to get a lot more knowledgeable and a lot creative with some of the content that I'm putting out there. It's not all easy all at once. It takes more than 20 hours a week to get certain, certain things done. Now, this is the food for thought that I want to leave you off with. If you're not going to throw in the towel at work because you're consistently doing things over and over again, which is getting you better at what you're doing, then you probably shouldn't throw in the towel on some of the things that you are chasing after in some of your crafts. Because the more and more you do it, the more repetitions, the better off you'll be and the stronger you'll get. You probably heard it a lot, but I'm going to leave you off with that. I'll see you next week.